Hey guys, it's your girl Loliti, and uh, you're welcome to Loliti's Teaches. So today we're making this beautiful exaggerated bishop sleeve without pattern, no slash and spread method. We are cutting directly on our fabric. If you will be trying it out, let me know in the comment section. And um, you can decide to make it with band, with elastic casing, but today we are using a robe. Let's get right into the video. Hey guys, good day and welcome back to my channel, All Little Stitches. So today I'll be teaching you how to make this beautiful exaggerated sleeve with rope, okay? It's very simple and very easy. This is the sleeve I attached to the last dress I made in my last video, which is the Palazzo jumpsuit. If you are here to watch that video, I'll drop the link in the description box so that you can watch it so now this is the sleeve part of the dress it's a very bogus sleeve and i'll not be using the slash and spread method i'm cutting it directly on my fabric okay i'm working with a sleeve length of 26 inches it will have casing for the rope which we which which we take another one inch and one inch for for the joining allowance and i want it to fall at the same time so i'll be making use of 28 inches because i want it to fall on the excess four to four i'll be making use of 28.5 inches and that is what i have here okay so here now i'm going to impute the armhole measurements I'm going to impute the ammo measurement of my client. So from here, I'll measure like um, eight inches. I'll come down, unfold now, unfold I have 17 inches, as, as much as your fabric can take you, okay? As much as your fabric, because we want the arm to be bogus you want the hand to be very bogus so here i even have 18 inches on fold so as much as your as your fabric can take you is what we're, we're going for so here now we are imputing our normal sleeve here we're imputing our normal sleeve which is we come down by four inches right and you mark your inverted S just like this. So we're going to measure our half O. And here I have 9.5. So that is what we want to check for 9.5. Okay, we have that here. 9.5, okay. So this is it, 9.5 is here already. Then you are going to, from this 9.5 now, you will mark it straight to the hand of this fabric, just like this. Sorry, I'm using my free hand to sketch. So can you see that? This is what we are cutting out. That's why we call it an exaggerated sleeve. So you cut like this if you don't want to use the slash and spread method. So here now at the down part, I have 18.5. So from here now, can you see that? So this is it for our sleeve. This is it for our sleeve. It's so bogus, so elaborate. 
So remember the, the sleeve length is 26 inches. One inch allowance for the elastic um, for the rope casing and one inch for the excess. Once it to fall, I've gone ahead to cut the two pieces for the two sleeves. So you just notch the center here and do the same for the two. Okay. So this is what we have at the end of the day. Let me just open it up so that you can see. Can you see our sleeve? This is what we are going to have at the end of the day. Then all we have to do is take to the sewing machine. All we have to do is take to the sewing machine and sew in one inch for the casing of our rope, okay? If you have not watched, the video of the dress I attached the sleeve to, I'll drop the link in my description box so that you go check it out. Okay, what you are going to do is very simple. For you to have a sleeve that the opening will not face the same side. We want that we want our sleeve opening to be at the back side of our arm. Okay, so on this side now, what you do is you place. You know, I've already made the second sleeve. Let's assume I've not made it. You place the second sleeve right side facing each other. So that's just it. Place it right side facing each other. And you fold like this. Just look at it. So here is it. You fold your sleeve into two like this then you now open this one can you see just like this then you come here and measure let's say five inches between four to five inches is okay so you measure five inches here and you slit it open you cut it can you see that so that is what I've done here you slit it open like this then what i'll do now i'll take to my sewing machine okay so can you see this now what i'll do now is to measure whatever i have here from here this is the opening we made just now so you open it up like this to measure so here now I have 11.5 inches. So I'm going to cut a strip just like this. Let me say one inch wide. One inch wide is okay. And this is 12.5. We even have more than enough. Okay. So now that you have cut the strip, you place it on the right side. Right side facing the right side of the fabric. You take to your sewing machine and stitch. Stitch. Try to straighten this part up. Okay, you place it like this on the sewing machine. I hope you can see what I'm doing. Like this, okay? And try to sew it to form a straight stitch. I'll do that now and I will show you. So can you see what we have? I've taken to my sewing machine and I've gone to stitch that um, straight long strip on that um, slitted side so this is what we have so what i'll do now is to cover up my stitch like this okay i'll take it to my sewing machine now and cover it up like this you see what we have now so the first thing to do the first thing to do is to fold your sleeve into two like this and stitch okay i left some space because i'll still be joining the sleeve to the main main bodies so you join your sleeve like this and you go ahead to join to fold the lower part with one inch yeah one inch is okay so that we can it will be a casing for this rope to pass remember we're not putting elastic so now that you have done that, then you, okay, remember I've gone ahead to 
close the slits can you see so this is what we have now for this slit side and i've covered it up so here we have the casing where the rope we pass and here is my rope so this place will serve as our casing now and here is my rope i've gone ahead to to stitch the rope and this is um i made use of 1.5 inches width just just make a very long rope okay what i have here is is up to like 40 inches long and that is what we need okay so now i'll take my safety pin and use it to pass the rope through the casing that we have created okay you pass it through this uh, open side just like this so you keep pushing it in we want it to come come out from the other side can you see so just like this you keep pushing and dragging it in you keep pushing Okay, so can you see that finally we have brought it out? Okay, so we have brought it out and we are just going to adjust it. Adjust it. Okay. So, so that is it on how to make this beautiful, exaggerated sleeve and how to pass the rope at the end of the day this is what we are going to have can you see that so our beautiful exaggerated sleeve is done and this side will be the one facing back so can you see here is one sleeve and here is the other sleeve so that's the essence of we placing it right side facing each other so this side will fit so when you're attaching the sleeve now when you're attaching the sleeve make sure the side with the slits make sure the side with the slit is the is the one at the back okay so that is it on how to um cut and stitch this beautiful slit uh, this beautiful sleeve if you find it helpful subscribe to the channel and remember to like the video feel free to share it with your tailor friends thank you for watching i'll see you in my next one bye